Right, so for now then, um, you will need pen and paper, your nibbles, your drinks, and if you are settled in for the night, hello Lancashire Lions, hello to you. Yeah, a few people just coming in. Uh, yeah, if you just joined us, we are just about ready to get going, guys, okay? So, here we go with the first round tonight. Uh, if you do miss any, don't forget you can always skip back in the video as well. You can jump back in and, and then join us live, um, or when, when we take the breaks, uh, it'll give you a good time to, uh, to to nip back and, and and see what you've missed up, missed out on. All right, here we go with round one this evening. Then round one tonight. Pens and papers ready. Let's do this. Uh, so we're going to start off with the hand uh, the handout round that we do. Uh, these are the blockbusters. We've got five little blockbusters for you. This is number one. What A is the main ingredient of marzipan? What A is a main ingredient of marzipan for number one? What A is a main ingredient of marzipan? That's question number one. Give you a chance to write all these down this evening as well, so, uh, so you don't get writer's cramp. We'll give you a little bit of time to, uh, to write each one down. And also, if you're playing, if you're playing with uh, WhatsApp as well, you can consult with your other team members. But hopefully, these first few shouldn't give you too many problems anyway. Okay, okay. So that's number one. What A is the main ingredient of marzipan? Number two. Which S is one of the deadly sins and is another word for laziness? Which S is one of the deadly sins and is another word for laziness? That's question number two. Evening, Simon. Just see you popped in there. Uh, Martin as well. Evening to you. Hello, Marie. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Super stuff. So that's number two. Question three. Number three. What T is used to measure temperature? What T is used to measure temperature? Quite a lot of these being used, I guess, at the moment. Okay, number four. Question number four. Which J is a unit of energy which sounds the same as the word for a precious stone? Which J is a unit of energy which sounds the same as a word for a precious stone? That's question number four. Next one. Hopefully not too many problems just yet. Question number five. Number five. Which C is the name of the substance that makes carrots orange? Which C is the name of the substance that makes carrots orange? That's number five. Okay, so that's the first little bit of the handout round. That's um, one to five, the blockbusters. 
Uh, next up then we are going to do some anagrams for you these anagrams uh, for tonight they are um, breakfast TV presenters past and present past and present um, that are going to come up on the screen next night for you um, if you've not done this round already um, you're more than welcome just to make a note of these if they uh, if they don't come to you straight away uh, then you can work on them during the breaks okay so the first one number six all Darken, A W L D A R K E N, all darken. Anagrams of British TV presenters, past and present. You can always uh, nip over to my um, website as well, pubquizquestionsandanswers.com. Pub uh, there's a link at the top of the screen there uh, for you to download tonight's handout round. So you can always do that at your leisure and then come back and join us just after 8 o'clock tonight when we'll be getting on with the next little bit. So that's number six for you. Number seven, question number seven is sauna diners. Sauna Diners, S-A-U-N-A-D-I-N-E-R-S. -E Another breakfast TV presenter anagram. Okay, just make a note of that one then. You can always come back to it if... Uh, if it doesn't jump out at you straight away. Number eight. Question number eight. Can Newt Myth Nag? C A N U T E M Y T H N A G. Can Newt Myth Nag? Another anagram of a breakfast TV presenter, past or present. Hopefully you're doing alright so far guys. Um, next one then, let's do another one for you. So we're just going to take a little bit of a short break just before 8 o'clock tonight as well so we can uh, celebrate the NHS. So don't worry. I think you're going to miss that. We won't. We'll be taking a break for that. Uh, next one, number 9, is German Spyro. German Spyro for number 9. G-E-R-M-A-N-S-P-I-R-O. German Spyro. That is an anagram of a breakfast TV presenter, past or present. Okay. And another one then for you is uh, number 10. Number 10. El, El Loyal Rinker. El Loyal Rinker. E L L O Y A L. R I N K E R. So I'll make a note of that. So that's uh, the five anagrams there this evening, guys. Up to five anagrams there. Uh, next little bit we're going to do then are um, homonyms. Homonyms. Uh, so what homonyms? If you've done this before with us, if you've done the quiz tonight, uh, any other nights, um, I'll, we have done a few of these before in the past. They are two words that sound the same but are spelt differently. 
Okay, two words that are spelt sound the same but are spelt differently. So I'm going to give you two different definitions of the same word that sound the same, uh, and, and then for your answer, I need you to give me both spellings relating to the clues that we've given you. Okay, you'll see how this works in a second. Uh, but number 11, here it is, number 11. So a member of the nobility and incapable of producing children. A member of the nobility and incapable of producing children. Two words that sound the same but are spelt differently. I want both spellings, please, for that one. Hi, Carol. How are you? Hope you're doing good. So that's number 11. A member of the nobility incapable of producing children. Two words sound the same with different spellings. All right, next one. Question number 12. If we're going too fast for you on any of these, don't worry, you can skip back and, and uh, have a little look over them. Uh, so number 12, a brass wind instrument. A brass wind instrument is one of the words. And the other one is a subterranean stem or shoot with buds or eyes from which new plants may arise. Again, two words that sound the same, but are spelt differently. We want both spellings, please. A brass wind instrument and a subterranean stem or shoots with buds or eyes from which new plants may arise. That's number Of tricky ones in here tonight I think uh, that's going to get you thinking sometimes when you just see one of them and, and um, you can relate it to something then the other one kind of fits into into place you've just got to put the different spelling down <laughs> all right so that's number 12 for your question number 13 number 13 to put or set in a particular position or situation that's one of the uh, Clues and the other one is a European flatfish. So two words sound the same but spelt differently. To put or set in a particular position or situation, and the other one is a European flatfish. Write the answers down. Don't place them into the comments box, please. If you just uh, write them down, and at the end of the night, uh, we'll go through all the answers so you can mark them up and find out how you've done this evening. All right, that's number 13 then. Uh, question number 14. Number 14. A special disposal of goods at reduced prices. And the other one is to move along or travel over water. A special disposal of goods at reduced prices. And your second clue, to move along or travel over water. We've still got the kids up. <laughs> I hope they're behaving themselves, Emma. <laughs> yeah, so if we're putting anything into the comments boxes as well, guys, just keep it clean. So as I said, there might be little little eyes looking over things as uh, as we're doing the uh, the online quizzes. <laughs> you just never know being little pests I don't believe that <laughs> right there we go that's number 14 at number 15 at question at number 15 new present most recent that's one set of clues and the other one is a small seedless raisin new present most recent is one clue and your second clue of another word that sounds the same spelt differently 
a small seedless raisin. They do. They get you. They get you thinking. Does it? Do these ones, don't they? If you if you love words, um, good games, um, crosswords, anything like that, then it's uh, it's going to whet your appetite for that for that uh, that type of puzzle. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's uh, that's number 15 there tonight, guys. Uh, if you miss any of them, as I say, you can skip back or you can just download the handout round from the top of my homepage, pubquizquestionsandanswers.com. Nip over there and download it if you've missed any. Um, but we're going to crack on. We'll keep things moving along for you because we're not through the handout round just yet. The next little bit we've got coming up for you, I, I, these are just... I think these are fairly easy. You're gonna get you're gonna get these tonight. Super easy tonight, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you five food logos. Might be bits of them missing. Um, if it, if it's uh, too obvious, but we, again, we don't want to make it too difficult for you as well. So we're gonna show you five different food logos. You've just got to tell us the food chains that those um, relate to. All right. So number sixteen. Number sixteen. Is that one there? Which food company does that one relate to? Bob that down for number 16. Don't think these are too tricky tonight. I think you'll be okay with, uh, with the majority of these. So I'm going to keep things moving along for you with uh, with this first round tonight then guys that's number 16 all food logos number 17 is on your screen now couldn't be any easier <laughs> I've given you way too much there hello from Cambridge we do have people playing up and down the country tonight as well. I don't know where, where the majority of you have found me from, but I'm glad you have. And I'm glad that you're here tonight and, uh, and taking part tonight. Do appreciate it. <laughs> Stop giving clues out. Shh. <laughs> Did somebody say, just eat? <laughs> We're going to make everybody hungry as this bit tonight, isn't it? <laughs> if you've eaten already, I do apologise. Next one then. <laughs> Next one we're going to do is um, number 18. Comes after 17, doesn't it? There it is, number 18 up on the screen. Uh, name the company that that relates to. It might be a little bit trickier, but yet again, you've got it, haven't you? You've got this. You've got this, guys. You've got this. Unless you're really posh and you don't go to these particular types of restaurants, then you might struggle a little bit. But I don't think you will. They're everywhere. These these are these are everywhere. So you you're gonna get these. <laughs> Hello from Ambleside. Is that right? Am Ambleside, yeah. All over the place. Loving it. All right, that is number 18. Yep, that's number 18. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye on things. Wow, that number's jumped up a little bit. I'm just having to check on the numbers there. Every, hello everybody hello uh yeah we're gonna do we're gonna do the next little round that if you if you sometimes people do this through the daytime and then they can just come back and join us for the next little round which we will get underway um just after eight o'clock tonight we are going to be breaking for uh for the uh nhs round of applause so that is coming up very soon uh, but for now a couple more here is number 19 that is number 19 on your screen now which food chain does that belong to Another tough one, that one, isn't it? Another toughie. Forest of Dean and Carlisle. Hello to you guys. All 
All right, so that's uh, number 19. If I go into a little world on my own, just ignore me. I'm just uh, keeping an eye on, on the other computer that's uh, so I can see what's coming in. <laughs> uh, next one up is number 20. Here we go with number 20. I think this is probably the most difficult one of the round. Um, have a little go at it anyway. You might get it. Let's, uh, let, let's have a little look. Uh, number 20. <laughs> <laughs> number 20 uh pretty tough one that one tonight guys but which food chain does that belong to uh for number 20 there we go that's my little reminder just to tell me to take the break for our nhs um, so that is the first round this evening guys uh skip back in the video if you want to do that if you've not um done the handout round you can always nip over to my home page uh pubquizquestionsandanswers.com uh, and link uh, and, and download it from there if you have missed any of those we're going to get on to the next little round for you in a minute or so from now but for now um we're just going to give the guys at the nhs a massive massive round of applause get your pot, pans and, pots and pans at the ready go out cheer those guys make lots and lots of noise for them uh doing an absolutely amazing job uh, i'm going to go do that and i will join you guys back in just a few minutes or so from from now see you back in a bit guys see you soon hello boys and girls ladies and gents welcome back another very emotional uh, clapping of the NHS there again um, fireworks going off outside and lots of people with their pots and pans and clapping along it does make the hairs on the back of your head uh, and make you very very proud to be british doesn't it absolutely amazing um and, oh we've got bagpipes bagpiping going on that's brilliant yeah the nhs doing an absolutely amazing job uh, and we sometimes we have people that are playing in the nhs as well tonight and if you are uh, have got one of the very very spare moments that you uh, you've got a little bit of time off and you're taking part with us uh, then we really really do appreciate you guys thank you for uh, for doing your massive amazing amazing work at the moment we do truly appreciate it <sighs> very good very good um i think if, if you're coming back and joining us, um, we are going to get into uh, into the next little section of the quiz um, coming up. So I'll just wait for uh, for everyone to get yourselves all back, get yourselves your pens and papers back and ready. Fireworks and bugles, my goodness, that's got to be amazing, hasn't it? Definitely. <laughs> And Captain Tom, probably most of you have seen him on uh, on the TV today, raising money as he's uh, coming up to his 100th birthday, um, raising millions and millions. I think it was over £12 million, probably over £13 million now that uh, that, that gentleman has raised, uh, doing an absolutely a brilliant job. And uh, I'm sure the NHS are going to absolutely um, benefit from, from what he's done there. So that's a fantastic, absolutely fantastic. <sighs> Right, guys, let's uh, let's let's move things on. I know we, we've got we've got a lot to get through this evening. We've got a lot to talk about, but uh, we've got a lot to get through tonight. So we will uh, we'll get into the next little section tonight for you, um, which is our general knowledge round tonight. Okay, so lots of you have probably done the first round uh, through the daytime, um, but we are going to crack on now with the next little section of the quiz this evening. Pens and papers back at the ready. Let's see how you do tonight. Exercise the grey matter. Let's do this. I think this is just as much as uh, exercise uh, for the mental side of things as much as for, the, for, for your body as well. So it's um, hopefully it's giving you a little bit of a workout and something else to concentrate on as well. Here we go. Question number 21. Number 21. Here it is. The central part of a daffodil shares its name with which musical instrument? The central part of a daffodil shares its name with which musical instrument? I know there's quite a few people that have just joined in as well. Oh, wow, over 15 million now. That is amazing, absolutely brilliant. Um, 
yeah, uh, if, if you're taking part in the quiz, uh, please, uh, as again, just a quick, quick reminder, don't bob your, answer, don't bob your answers into, um, into the uh, chat box, but to just, just write those down uh, and we will go through them at the end, at the end. My goodness, good, good, good. Appreciate everyone coming along to do this this evening, guys. It uh, it does make my night. It does make my night that you guys show up and uh, and have a little play along. It really does. Gives me something to look forward to as well and concentrate on during uh, during lockdown and my uh, my own self isolation. Not left the house myself for four weeks, but <laughs> it's what we got to do. It's what we got to do. Okay, dokie, so we've got that's number 21. The central part of a daffodil shares its name with which musical instrument? Next one up, question 22. In athletics, are track races run in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction? So in athletics, are track races run in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction? It's one of them 50-50 ones. Just got to make sure you write the right one down. In athletics, are track races run in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction? All right. 23. 23. What are Hershey's Kisses? What are Hershey's Kisses? Particular thing, what is it? What are Hershey's Kisses for? <laughs> 15 million doing my quiz. <laughs> I should be so lucky. Not quite that many. Once again, guys, if you're playing along on the quiz tonight, don't put the answer into the chat box because you like the person at the quiz that sh shouts the answer out. What are Hershey's Kisses for number 23? Okay. That's number 23. 24. Who presented the TV quiz show The Weakest Link? Who presented the TV quiz show, The Weakest Link? That's number 24. More strong Ribena tonight. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, please don't write your answers into the chat box. We'll have a little bit of banter between uh, teams and stuff like that by by all means, but um, do keep the answers free from uh, from the chat box. I can't um, monitor it, so please ask. I'm just asking you if you could do that for us. Uh, that'd be amazing. Just write the answers down. Write the answers down. That's all you got to do. Grab yourself a pen and paper. Write the answers down, uh, and we'll go through the answers in a little bit. Okay. So what we got next? We have got yep, that's number twenty-four. Who presented the TV quiz show The Weakest Link? We've gone up market tonight, and we're going a glass of wine, a glass of wine, rather than a pint of Ribena. <laughs> it's back on my cheap Aldi, back back on my cheap Aldi cider again. So that's 24. Next one then, 25. Question number 25. Here it is. 
Will Smith that sang about which US city in 1998? Will Smith that sang about which US city in 1998? freaky how many people play on uh, on a Thursday evening compared to my Tuesday one <sighs> how many times are we going to have to say it guys might be joining you by nine o'clock as well might be uh, I'm a bit of a lightweight when it comes to drinking <laughs> so if I'm in a puddle in a corner crying all emotional by nine o'clock you'll know why there we go guys that's number 25 Wh uh, Will Smith that sang about which US city in 1998 Pull that down for 25. Next one, 26. Question 26. Again, please make sure you don't put your answers into the chat box. You just play out the person who uh, shouts the answers out of the quiz. You can skip back into uh, on, on the video, guys. Even if it's a live video, you can just skip back and, and catch up any. Uh, you can download the handout round from my main quiz site, pubquizquestionsandanswers.com. There's a link at the top of there for 1 to 20. Uh, and then the rest of them, you're just going to have to uh, skip back in the video to catch up on. But I, have, I do do a quick recap at the end as well, so at the end of this round. Um, so if you've missed any, again, we'll do a quick recap uh, once we've done all... All 10 in this round uh, so 26 in which 1965 musical did Julie Andrews play the spirited young nun named Maria in which 1965 musical did Julie Andrews play the spirited young nun named Maria If you are new to our quiz and you do want to take part in future ones, um, we start at half past seven. Starts at half past seven every Tuesday and Thursday. We're based in the UK as well, so that is uh, British summer time that uh, that we're running that. Um, so if you want to take part, you just come and join us. Um, well, if you hook up on my uh, Facebook page, you'll be notified once we go live anyway. So uh, that's what you need to do. Okay, so once again, that's number 26. In which, uh, which 1965 musical did Julie Andrews play the spirited young nun named Maria? Uh, 28, question 20, sorry, 27. I'm running ahead of myself, 27. Dennis Rodman was a well-known name in which sport? Dennis Rodman was a well-spirited name in which sport? Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Dennis Rodman was a well-known name in which sport for 27? Question 28. The River Ribble uh, flows through North Yorkshire and which other county the river ribble flows through north yorkshire and which other county for number 28 
Is the pace all right this evening, guys? For everybody, we're not going too fast that way. I just want to uh, we'll check where we're okay and going at the right kind of speed for everybody. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there we go, that's number 28. 29. I bet there's a few of you that know the answer to that one as well. <laughs> Question 29. Next one, number 29. Uh, which American actor starred in the 2019 TV series Wild Bill? Which American actor starred in the 2019 TV series Wild Bill? <sighs> Bit of banter going on in the uh, in the old chat there. That was good. Drinking vintage cider. No, it's it's the my, my, mine's the cheap Aldi stuff. <laughs> Bit of Taurus. Can't beat it. I feel like the wine now that you know used to. Treat, what was it? Lightning. Is that what it was? Something like that. Uh, that's 29 which American actor starred in the 2019 TV series Wild Bill and the last one we'll do a quick recap after these number 30 White Lightning that's the one yep definitely White Lightning that's what I was trying to think of <laughs> uh, that's 29 number 30 question number 30 uh, what word can mean both a type of drum and to entrap What word can mean both a type of drum and to entrap? Yeah, we've got it white lightning. My goodness. Seems like a few of you are talking from experience here. <laughs> Green tea. Oh, one of our posters. One of our posters. Woohoo! Yeah, we still keep getting our posts, don't we? You guys have got to do your job and you get your uh, 7 to 10 miles in a day, whatever it is. Wowzers. <laughs> so number 30 again then. What word can mean both a type of drum and to entrap? Um, I'm going to bring those back up on the screen again for you now and I'll quickly read those out. Uh, so if you've missed any of the, uh, the last 10, here they are one more time. The central part of a daffodil shares its name with which musical instrument? 22 in athletics. The track races run in a uh, our track races run in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. 23. What are Hershey's kisses? 24. Who presented the TV show The Weakest Link? 25. Will Smith sang about which U.S. city in 1998? Uh, 26, in which 1965 musical did Julie Andrews play the spirited uh, young nun named Maria? 27, Dennis Rodman was a well-known name in which sport? Uh, 28, the River Ribble flows through North Yorkshire and which other county? Uh, 29, which American actor starred in the 2019 TV series Wild Bill? And number 30, uh, what word can mean both a type of drum and to entrap? That is the general knowledge bit for you, uh, the 1 to 10, uh, sorry, 21 to 30 questions. Um, that's a little bit of recaps for you. You can skip back in the video if you want to do that as well. Get a recap on where we are at the moment. We're going to crack things on with our next little bit for you. Um, but it is now time for a short break, guys. Go grab yourselves a drink. Get yourselves a top up. Uh, have a loo break. Wash your hands. Do all that good stuff that you should be doing. <laughs> and we will be back for you in just a few minutes time. I will see you back in a couple of minutes, guys, for the Gambit Round coming up next. See you back very soon.
My goodness, that two minutes goes fast, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, right, hopefully uh, hopefully everybody's caught up to uh, to where we are at the minute then, okay? Um, so we've just had our last um, 10 general knowledge type questions. Next up, next up, if you're playing along, if you've no, done my quiz for a few weeks now, you'll know how this little bit works. We have got the Gambit round coming up next tonight, okay? The Gambit round is up next. So if you've uh, downloaded the answer sheet, which you'll get from my main um, website there, below me, there we go, um, you can get that. Um, we're going to ask 10 questions coming up in our next little bit, 31 through to 40. Each question is labelled A, B, C and D, and that is for the reason that we ask you a question and we give you four possible answers. Instead of ticking the box that you think is correct, though, in this in this round, we give you five points per question to play with. So if you're confident on an answer, put five points into any one of the boxes. But if you're not too sure, you can split your points down over two or three of the answers. As long as you leave one answer uh, blank and the other boxes add up to five points over, over the uh, course of them, then um, you're good to go. That's basically the way the way this little bit works. All right. So, if you get yourselves your pens and papers ready, here we go with the next little section. So, I'm just going to have a quick drink, guys. Just bear with me a sec. Cheers to you all. Yeah, we usually, we usually spend uh, about an hour to uh, uh, two hours with you on a on a Tuesday and a Thursday evening. Just giving you a little something else to to think about, all right? Okay, so we're going to get into this bit then. Question 31, we'll give you the options to start with and then give you the question. So 31, your options are A, miners, B, teachers, C, steelworkers, D, builders. And the question to go with it is... What industry did the main characters in the full Monty formerly work in? Don't put your answers into the box, don't forget. Don't put them into the comments box. Just write them down on your piece of paper. What industry did the main characters in the full Monty formerly work in? Is it A, miners, B, teachers, C, steelworkers, D, builders? So if you're confident of the answer, put five points into um, the appropriate box, A, B, C, or D. Or if you're not too sure, split your five points down over two or three of the boxes. K Cider. I'm not, I'm not heard of K Cider. What's is that a is that a particular type? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've heard of that one, K Cider. Might be, might be just location wise. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's thirty one tonight for you then. Uh, thirty two, question thirty two. We'll just keep going going through these tonight for you, and uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, so we've got A. Philo, B. Puff, C. Flaky, D. Short, and the question to go with this one. It is come on play <laughs> which thin pastry is tradi traditionally used in greek cooking which thin pastry is traditionally used in greek cooking is it a phyllo b puff c flaky d short eight point four i'm guessing that's quite strong for cider isn't it <laughs> Hammered just on f the fumes as soon as you open it. <laughs> Which thin pastry is traditionally used in Greek cooking? A. Philo, B. Puff, C. Flaky, D. Short. So again, five points into one box if you're confident, or split your points down if you're not too sure. Another one then, question 33. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you on these guys. If I, if I am, if I'm going too fast, just let me know, okay? 
I know some of you are communicating with uh, your WhatsApp buddies as well. So if you need a bit more time, just let me know. Next one, question 33. Number 33, your options this time, A, baby face, B, scar face, C, pretty face, D, chicken face. And the question is, what was Al Capone's nickname? What was Al Capone's nickname? Is it A, baby face, B, scar face, C, pretty face, D, chicken face? Hopefully there's nothing uh, too difficult just yet. Might be one or two tricky ones in here that's uh, that's gonna gonna make you think. Can't all be easy, can they? <laughs> so that's thirty-three. Well, let's keep it moving. Next one, question thirty-four. You'll get a recap at the end of this round as well, guys. So if you need a bit more time, uh, we are going to take another short break at the end of this round to give you time to uh, to recap on any that you've missed. Okay, so question 34, you've got A, trim, B, wall, C, stack, D, tower. All right, and the question is, what is the name given to the part of a chimney above roof level? What is the name given to the part of a chimney above roof level? Is it A, trim, B, wall, C, stack, D, tower, A, B, C, or D. Five points into one box if you're confident, but if you're not too sure, split your points down over two or three of the boxes. I hear people shouting in the background, no, go big or go home. You can do that as well. <laughs> but we do give you the option. If you do want to split your points, you can do that. Okay. That's long enough on that one. Let's do another one for you. Question 35, number 35. Here's your options. A, Indian. B, Atlantic. C, Pacific. D, Southern. And the question is, Mauritius lies in which ocean? Mauritius lies in which ocean? Is it A, Indian, B, Atlantic, C, Pacific, D, Southern? Shouldn't be too tricky, that one. Same rules apply again there, guys. Five points into one box if you're confident. If you're not sure, split your points down. All right, let's do another one then for you. Question 36, number 36. You're going to get a recap at the end anyway, so we'll just keep moving the way through these. Uh, so you've got A, ear, B, eye, C, nose, D, mouth. And the question is, iridology concerns which part of the body? Iridology concerns which part of the body? Is it A, ear, B, eye, C, nose, D, mouth? So just keep writing these down on your bits of paper at the moment, guys, onto your own answer sheets. Don't put your answers into the comments box. Because it's not big and it's not clever. <laughs> All right. So that's 36, 37. Question number 37. 
So your options here are A, hospital, B, school, C, church, D, hotel. And the question, A, sexton works in which type of building? A, sexton works in which type of building? Is it A, hospital, C, school, C, church, D, hotel. A sexton works in what type of building? Five points into one box if you're confident. Again, or split your points down, split the five points down over two or three of the boxes. A, hospital, B, school, C, church, D, hotel. Couple of tricky ones in here tonight, isn't there? There's a few, uh, few that are going to get you thinking a little bit. But then again, there might be others that are just going dead easy. These dead easy. <laughs> All will be revealed when we come through the answers at the end. Uh, so let's keep it moving along. Here we go. Question number thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight. This time your options are A fifty, B one hundred, C one hundred and fifty, D two hundred. And the question, what number is represented by the Roman numerals CC? What number is represented by the Roman numerals CC? Is it A50, B100, C150, D200? Now, are you asking what I'm drinking? It's um, it's cheap Aldi cider, guys. Cheap Aldi cider. <laughs> One of the fruity, fruity ciders. Keeping me going. Keeping the throat going. That's the main thing. All right, so that's, uh, we've got a couple more to do then, so let's do these for you. And then we'll take another short break. Uh, next one, question 39. Okay, your options this time. You've got A, Cinderella. B, Little Red Riding Hood, C, Thumbelina, D, Snow White. And the question is, which fairy tale character did Lily Collins play in the 2012 fantasy film Mirror Mirror? Which fairy tale character did Lil, Lil, get my teeth in, Lily Collins play in the 2012 fantasy film Mirror Mirror? Is it A, Cinderella? B, Little Red Riding Hood, C, Thumbelina, D, Snow White. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so let's keep it moving. Another one then for you guys. Uh, question number 40, last one in this round. Uh, last one in this round. So you got uh, this time you got A, Peru, B, Uganda, C, Republic of Ireland, D, Argentina. And the question for this one is of which country, went up an octave then, of which country was Mary Robinson president? from 1990 to 1997. Of which country was Mary Robinson president from 1990 to 1997? Is it A, Peru, B, Uganda, C, Republic of Ireland, D, Argentina? All right. I think we've now come up to a nice point to have another little bit of a break. 
Um, so I'm going to put those on the screen. I'm not going to I'm not going to read them out again for you, but they will be on the screen if you want to have a little look at those. Uh, if it's too small from the screen that you've got there, don't forget you can always skip back in the video uh, and uh, look over any of the options of uh, that last ten that we've just done for you there. Okay, so they are going to be up on the screen now. Uh, I'm going to give you a chance to go get yourself another drink. Uh, Lou break all that good stuff and we will be back in a couple more minutes time okay so a quick two minute break uh, and we'll be back with the next little bit the wipeout round is on its way next for you soon see you in a little bit guys see you soon Hello boys and girls, welcome back, welcome back to our uh, Thursday night quiz night with my Richard, myself Richard, your quiz host, uh, doing this every uh, Tuesday and Thursday night for you, so you're welcome to join us, uh, it doesn't cost you anything to play along if you want to have a little go, um, give you some, something to uh, to take your mind off things uh, and feel like you're still having a little go at the old pub quizzes then you are welcome to uh, to join us and we're loving that uh, that you guys are showing up we've got over 100 people uh, having a little play along there tonight so thank you very much guys i'm loving it loving it loving it uh, so we're going to move things on to uh, the next little section tonight for you which is our bum, 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 wipeout round it's a wipeout round up next tonight so in this round we do it a little bit different to a tuesday night uh, tuesday we play family fortunes thursday is the wipeout round so in this round each question is worth five points for a correct answer however if you do answer one wrong in this round you will lose all the points for the round Yes, you do. Uh, so you don't have to answer every question. You don't have to answer every single one that we ask you. If, you if you're unsure of an answer, it is best to leave it blank. Don't put anything down. If you put something down and it's wrong, you will wipe out the five points for the round. Okie dokie. So we got five questions coming up for you uh, and then we'll just we'll take another we'll take a short break we'll do a quick minute between the next one all right uh, but have a little look at these for the wipeout questions here we go question number 41 each question is worth five points in this round so it's quite a big big point uh, round for you uh, but it depends whether you're going to go for it here we go question 41 throwing is a process used by which type of artist? Throwing is a process used by which type of artist? Again, please don't put your answers into the uh, comments box. Just write them down and we'll go through the answers for you in a short while. Throwing is a process used by which type of artist? artist that's five points for a right answer if you want to have a little go at that if you think you know what it might be write it down all right good that you guys are loving this i know i look like jay but i'm not jay i'm richard <laughs> sorry to disappoint you guys if you've come along thinking it's jay it's not it's me little old richard Little old Richard from Yorkshire. <laughs> okay, that's 41. Number 42. <laughs> it does look like my double, so uh, hey ho. His loss is my game. Next one, question number 42. <laughs> number 42. Uh, which UK fashion house is most noted for its trench coats? Which UK fashion house is most noted for its trench coats? Number 42. Another five point question. Get it right, get five points. But get one wrong in this round and you'll get zero for the round. A big fat zero. Uh -uh. These are the actual quizzes that I would have been uh, running on these particular nights as well. I've kept writing the quizzes as we would do and, and presenting them as we would be uh, doing in the normal pub quiz environment. Um, as I say, a little something for my regulars to, to keep doing. But we've obviously got quite a few other people that are, that are playing along tonight as well. So I do appreciate you coming and playing. 
and hopefully giving you guys a little something to do on these wonderful nights of lockdown. <laughs> There we go, that's number 42 for you. Which UK fashion house is most noted for its trench coats? That's 42. Question 43. Which comedian published the book Revolution in 2014? Don't forget, do use your heads for these lots. Don't go Googling, don't do any checking. We'll go through the answers at the end. This is about testing what's in your head not what you can type into Google, all right? <laughs> Which comedian published the book Revolution in 2014? Another five-point question there. If you get that right, along with all the others you've answered so far, you can get 25 points in this round if you go for them all and get them all right. Okie dokie. Uh, next one. Question... 44. Hopefully I'm not going too fast, but again, I'll do a recap at the end, guys, okay? Question number 44. Christian Barnard performed the first successful transplant of which human organ? Christian Barnard performed the first successful transplant of which human organ? Another five point question there for you for question number 44. Christian Barnard performed the first successful transplant of which human organ? down a little bit too nice that cider tonight it's doing the doing my throughout the world of good the good news is a gin is en route yes <laughs> I felt lost without my gin next one then let's do another one for you in this round the question number 45 which two metals lend their names to species of beech tree. So we want two answers this time. Uh, again, both of them will have to be right for the right for the points in this on this question. Okay. So which two metals lend their names to species of beech tree? Both of them have to be right to get the right points for this one. If you want to go of this question both have to be correct for the full five points so make sure you know them both before you write anything down into question 45 if you have answered any of those questions and they do happen to be wrong from this round only uh, round four uh, the wipeout round then you will wipe out all the points for this round you get nothing for the round zero a big fat zero and that's the way it works all right, so again, we'll just give you a quick recap on the, on those five and then just like a, another short break uh, before we come back and do the music round. So, number, uh, number well, let's get this right. Numbers are all wrong, aren't they? Uh, 41, 41, uh, throwing is a process used by which type of artist? 42, uh, which UK fashion house is most noted for its trench coats? 43, which comedian published the book Revolution in 2014? 44, Christian Barnard performed the first successful transplant of which human organ? And 45, which two metals lend their name to species of beak tree? That is the wipeout round there, guys. Um, I, I'll do a short break for you, a quick minute break, uh, and then we'll come back to do everybody's favourite, the music round. Yeah, we've got the music round coming up next, uh, and we'll do that very shortly. Back in a bit. See you soon. Wow, that went super quick. One more time, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, just a quick short break on that one, guys, just to uh, give you a chance to have a little think about that, uh, that round there. Uh, chat amongst your buddies if you are WhatsApping and all that good stuff and get to come up with some answers uh, for that round there. 
Right, so we're going to move things along this evening uh, onto the next little bit. Everybody's favourite, the music round. We have got in this little bit, uh, we've got seven questions. When I read the questions out, you've just got to tell me the answers. Uh, and then the last three this evening are rewind songs, three songs that we've uh, done, uh, played backwards for you tonight. They are from the tens, the noughties and the nineties. A lot of people groaning at me already. Uh, I do apologise, it's the way it goes. We'll just, I will keep mixing it up and we'll throw some different ones in there uh, from time to time for you as well uh, so that is what we've got coming up for tonight so let's do this then let's do this get yourselves your pens and papers at the ready hopefully you've got your nice drink all sorted and ready to rock for our next little section tonight here we go number 46 uh, one for Janella, because I know she's been brushing up on a James Bond. Which James Bond movie uh, theme? Which James Bond movie theme was written and recorded by Adele in 2012? Which James Bond movie theme was written and recorded by Adele in 2012? If anyone wants to uh, to PayPal Janella some money over, she'll give you the answer in the private messaging. <laughs> Which James Bond movie theme was written and recorded by Adele in 2012? <laughs> you must do. You must get her to watch them. You must get her to watch them. <laughs> See, if you don't do very well on a particular subject, guys, we do, we do give you homework. We give you homework to, to work on, to go watch some movies. Certain things that crop up in quiz nights all the time and certain things that you should know um, come up time and time again and James Bond films are absolutely one of them. You definitely need to know them. <laughs> there we go, that's number 46. <laughs> Janella, Janella, Janella. I've got to give you some... You'll be getting lines next if you're not doing your homework. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Be better things to do during lockdown haven't you <laughs> there we go that's number 46 number 47 question 47 here it is uh, the 1982 hit Ebony and Ivory was a hit for which duo two people sung Ebony and Ivory you'll get one and a half points for each one that you get right who was it? The 1982 hit Ebony and Ivory was a hit for which duo? One and a half points for each correct answer there. Hopefully I've had a little bit of time to think about that one. Two names to write down there for 47, if you can think of them both. The 1982 hit Ebony and Ivory was a hit for which duo? Uh, number 48, question 48. At the 1996 Brit Awards, which singer was on stage when Jarvis Cocker invaded the stage as a spontaneous protest? At the 19, mid massive news at the time, so at the 1996 Brit Awards, which singer was on stage when Jarvis Cocker invaded the stage as a spontaneous protest? And that is number 48. Painting sheds, painting sheds instead. <laughs> you have to set a TV up inside the shed then while you're uh, while you're painting it. Have them all playing in the background. <laughs> Mind you, have had some lovely weather, haven't we, for doing it? Thing, doing things outside as well. So if you're managing managing to catch up on your outdoor um, jobs as well, perfect time for it. Next one, let's do another one for you. Question forty nine, number forty nine. Uh, in which 1997 film featuring featuring a popular girl group did meatloaf make a brief appearance as a bus driver 
the year might be a clue there, in which 1997 film featuring a popular girl group did Meatloaf make a brief appearance as a bus driver? For question 49. notice my midnight shadow coming through there didn't have a share for you guys tonight I do apologize <laughs> I was in lockdown mode never mind I'm still here I've still shown up <laughs> still doing a quiz for you guys all right there we go that's number 49 next one then question number 50. Let's do 50. So Sally can wait. She knows it's too late as she walks on by. Our lyrics from which 1996 song? So Sally can wait. She knows it's too late as she walks on by. Those are lyrics from which 1996 song? I can hear you all singing it in your heads right now. So we don't want the artist, just the song title, please, for that one. So Sally can wait. She knows it's too late as she walks on by. Our lyrics from which 1996 song? Couple more questions for you. Couple more music questions, and then we've got the rewind songs. So let's do these for you. Next one is number 51. Question number 51. Vicky and uh, Debbie Peterson were sisters in which girl group? Vicky and Debbie Peterson were sisters in which girl group for number 51? Hopefully you guys have been in from uh, from the earliest start as well. So we've got the, the Shaws, the Roberts. Hi, Mandy Wayne. <laughs> you just want shout outs, don't you? That's what it is. I'm cool with that. That's fine. If I get time between the, uh, between the questions, we'll do that as well. <laughs> so there we go. Once again, number 51, Vicky and Debbie Peterson were sisters in which girl group? Here's 52. 52. If You Ever was a 1996 uh, collaboration with East 17 and which female singer? If You Ever was a 1996 hit and a collaboration with East 17 and which female singer? Okay, a couple of tricky ones there again, as always, uh, because these, uh, all the questions, all the answers in uh, this round, in the music round, are worth three points, so they do tend to be that little bit trickier as well, okay? Um, so, we're going to do our final little bit this evening for you then. Uh, we've got three rewind songs for you. We're going to play three songs uh, in reverse, one after the other. Uh, you've just got to tell us the artist of the song that we play and the year, uh, not the year, sorry, the artist of the song that we play and the art, the artist and the song. That, that's it. <laughs> Getting myself completely in a knot at the moment. Artist and song. That is all we need for, uh, for you for each of these. Uh, so 53. Uh, I'm just going to get these up on the screen now, so bear with me one second. Hopefully you should get these coming through your speakers up next. Uh, turn your speakers up nice and loud. Here we go with the songs tonight. This is 53. <laughs> Yeah, I 
Song and artist for that one, 53. Here's 54. The one from the noughties. This is the last one, 55 from the 90s. this evening guys that is uh, your quiz for tonight then that is uh, it wraps up things this evening for you uh, so that last three we played you three songs 53 was from the tens uh, we wanted to know the artist and the song uh, 54 from the noughties again artist and song and 55 from the 90s the artist and song one and a half points for each little bit that you get right in that little round there so uh, finish up your uh, writing down for that round uh, we have the answers coming up next tonight uh, I'm just going to let you uh, finish up at the moment I'll pull the answers up on the screen and we'll go straight through those next tonight bear with me we'll get those up on the screen next Right, time for the answers guys, time for the answers. Um, so we're going to go through uh, the answers on the quiz this evening then let's find out how everyone has done tonight. So just mark your, uh, pens, uh, mark your sheets up as we go through them, pens and papers at the ready. Uh, no prizes tonight, just as a little bit of fun, just for something for you guys to do uh, and uh, you've got the glory of uh, hopefully trying to get the big score tonight and beating everybody else taking on the virtual toilet rolls all right uh, <laughs> answers next here we go okay so one point per correct answer for this round then number one was almonds two is sloth three thermometer four jewel and five carotene. Bob, how many points you've got into the chat box there, guys? How many have you got out of five so far? I've got lots of five, five out of fives. Let me know how you are doing so far so we can uh, just tally where we are. Let's make sure we're not doing them too, too hard at the moment. Five out of five, that's good. Fantastic four eyes, five, yeah, not too not too many tricky ones there. Good, 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 fives, 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 yep, brilliant. Stunning. Uh, so we'll carry on, we'll keep things moving. Uh, anagrams of breakfast TV presenters past and present. Number 16, 16 was Dan Walker. Seven, uh, Susanna Reid. Eight, Naga Monchetti. 
9 was Piers Morgan and 10 Lorraine Kelly keep having your points up guys a point each for this round uh, then we've got the homonyms the homonyms next 11 uh, so the the bo both the words were barren but the spellings were B A R R O N and B A R R E N that's 11 number 12 tuba and tuba T U B A and T U B E R so it's still just one point for each of these guys just still one point for each of these uh, 13 is place and place P L A C E and P L A I C E 14 sale and sale S A L E S A I L and 15 current and current C U double R E N T and C U double R A N T that is number 15 point each on all of those uh, then we did the food logos for you food logos 16 was Nando's fancy cheeky Nando's and some halloumi fries <laughs> 16 uh, Nando 17 Subway as if you didn't get that 18 Burger King 19 Domino's that was a tricky one wasn't it not and 20 the golden arches of course of McDonald's Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut uh, yeah McDonald's it was for number 20 there so add up your round out of 20 there please for uh, for the first round how many have you got out of 20 guys 20 out of 20 loving it I'm loving it <laughs> unintentional joke there <laughs> 18 Ooh, Marie what are you slipping on 19 Janella good stuff uh, 20 out of 20 Peter well done Daniel Daniel Craig of course our uh, James Bond enthusiast there, uh, 19, Simon, 20, good stuff, uh, Carol, 19, 20 out of 20 for egg and chips, 20 out of 20, Sandy, 20, Julie, 20, Stephen, yep, yeah, good, good scores, uh, 20 for the Golden Girls there, good, 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 keep those coming in, guys, we'll uh, see how you're all doing, uh, so we're going to crack, th uh, crack straight on with it answers to the next round the general knowledge round the 21 is trumpet trumpet uh, 22 um, if you put cl clockwise don't go adding anti onto it now because that's just cheating uh, anti-clockwise is what we wanted there for number 22 uh, 23 Hershey's 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 kisses are chocolates Hershey's kisses are chocolates uh, 24 the weakest link TV presenter Anne Robinson 25 welcome to Miami that's what we wanted for number 25 26 the hills are alive with the sound of music 26 the sound of music one point correct answer for each of these 27 uh, was basketball Dennis Rodman well-known name in basketball 28 Lancashire, Lancashire, uh, the River Ribble flows flows through North Yorkshire and Lancashire. Twenty nine. Rob Lowe, uh, the American actor of Wild Bill. Rob Lowe for that one. And number thirty was Snare. Okay. So one point each for that round there, please. Just uh, add those up where you are at the moment okay let's do the answers for you we'll keep things moving along um, <laughs> we'll keep things moving along for you on to um, the gambit round next okay um, so this round whatever number you put into the box that we say is correct are the points you score for that particular question okay so number 31 the right answer is of course C steelworkers 
C steelwork as whatever number you put into box C are the points you score for question number 31. 32, 32, the right answer to that one is A, phyllo, phyllo pastry, A, 32. 33, correct answer, B for Bravo, Scarface, Al Capone's nickname, Scarface, B for Bravo, what have you put into box B? Uh, the points you score for 33. <laughs> Red Rose. <laughs> We're not going to get into a war of the roses here, are we, guys? <laughs> you know I'm a Yorkie. So 34, question 34. We wouldn't have that anyway. <laughs> uh, C, stack, is the right answer there. C, stack. <laughs> uh, keep it moving. Number 35, question 35 a Indian, a Indian from Mauritius. 36, uh, B for Bravo, I. Iridology I uh, relates to the iris, study of the iris. So that's what, uh, that's where that comes into play there. Uh, 37, 37, the right answer is C, church. 38 is D for Delta, 200. CC represents 200. C is like C for cent, which is 100. So CC, 200. The scoring works on however many however many points you put into the boxes if you if you miss that bit how it works you should be putting numbers into the boxes rather than just ticking the boxes guys okay you might need to uh, to re-watch over the video again if you if you've missed how this little bit works but i did explain it right at the top of the round okay um so 39 the right answer is d for delta snow white we usually give you five points per question. You can put five points into one of the boxes or split your points down if you're not too sure. Um, so that's the way this little bit works. If you missed that, I am very sorry. <laughs> Wrong side at pen nines. <laughs> We're not getting into that argument, guys. We're not getting into that. <laughs> the right side, in my opinion. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to stick up for the Yorkies, aren't I? <laughs> Even though I work most of my time in the, in, in good old Lancashire. No qualms with them. <laughs> I'm happy either side of the border. doesn't matter to me. Uh, so number 40 then, the right answer to this one is C, the Republic of Ireland. The Republic of Ireland uh, for number 40. So from that round there, you should have a score out of 50. Add up those points, please, for that round. Add up your uh, points for that round there, and uh, let me know. Let me know just for that round there, guys, how many you got out of 50, please? How many you got for that round so far? Just have a quick recap to see where we are. 36 out of 50, 45 out of 50 is 50. Well done, Michael, that's good scoring. Uh, 50 for Rebecca. Yep, good scoring again. I thought there was a couple of tricky ones in there, but uh, you guys are good. You guys are good. <laughs> I should know better by now, shouldn't I? Yeah, some mi some mixtures. Yeah, well done. As I say, it doesn't matter. As long as you're playing, as long as you have a bit of fun, guys, that is all that it matters tonight, okay? Um, uh, wipeout round next. Wipeout round. So, uh, the wipeout round questions, these are worth five points for a right answer in this round, five points for a right answer. Um, but do get one wrong in this round. If you've answered a question and it comes up wrong, uh, you will wipe out all the points for the round. All right. Now let's do this then. 41 was a potter. A potter throws. Okay, a potter is what we wanted for number 41. 42, Burberry. Burberry for 42. Five points for each correct answer in this round. 
Oh, is it going pear shaped already, guys? <laughs> uh, Russell Brand was uh, the right answer for Revolution 43. If you put uh, anything else down other than Russell Brand, you will wipe out all your points and get a big fat, ah, ah, big fat zero for this round. Uh, 44 hearts was the right answer to that one. 44 hearts. 45. The two metals that we wanted, as I say, we wanted both of them to be correct. Silver and copper. Silver birch and copper birch. Copper beech, sorry. Silver beech and copper beech. That's what I wanted there. Uh, so that's the right answer there for 45. Okay. Um, then we're going to go through the answer. Score out of 25 for that round, please, if you could. Give yourself a little score out of 25 for that one. All right. So let's keep things moving. Good night, Anne. See you next time. Take care. Thanks, you could stop with us. <laughs> uh, so we've got the music round up next then. All right. Uh, 46. These are worth three points for a right answer in this round. So 46 was Skyfall. Three points for a right answer in to each of these questions. 47, Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney. One and a half points for each right answer to, to each of those. One and a half for Stevie Wonder, one and a half for Paul McCartney. Obviously three points if you get them both right. 48, Michael Jackson. Another three points if you got that one correct. 49, Spice World the movie. Spice World the movie for 49. Three points again if you got that. Number 50, Don't Look Back in Anger. The Oasis song, Don't Look Back in Anger. Uh, three points again if you got that one for number 50. 51, uh, Vicky and Debbie Peterson were from The Bangles. Three points again for that one. 52, if you ever, ever, uh, was hipped between East 17 and Gabrielle. Tricky one again. Another, another three points if you got that one right. Then we did the three songs in reverse. It's one and a half points for the correct artist and then one and a half points for the right song title. Last few coming up for you then. Here we go. 53, The Shape of You. Ed Sheeran, Shape of You, Ed Sheeran. One and a half points for each bit of those that you got right. Three points again. If you got it all, spot on. 54, The Climb, Miley Cyrus. Tricky one on that one. The Climb, Miley Cyrus. And 55, the last one tonight, was a song by Cher, Just Like Jesse James. That was a song that we did in reverse. Just like Jesse James, share one and a half points for each bit of those that you got right. Fantastic, guys. That um, that wraps about just about wraps things up this evening for you. If you could let me know how many points you've got uh, in the score at the end, if you uh, yeah, if you just let me know into the chat box, please, how many points you've got there tonight. Let's see how everybody's done. I'll have a quick drink while you're all totting up and uh, letting me know your score. It's full score this evening, guys, out of 135, please. Just give me your final scores now out of 135, including any half points or anything like that that you need to, uh, to add in as well. Hundred and thirteen for the four amigos. That's good scoring guys. Hundred and eighteen and a half there. Peter Robinson. Hundred and sixteen and a half. Simon Mead. Hundred and twenty four point five Daniel. My goodness. Wow, that's a good scoring, isn't it? Oh another yeah, yeah, hundred and twenty four point five. You've never got a hundred and thirty five out of hundred and thirty five gammon egg and chips. Surely not. Really? Was that was that that easy? 
<laughs> if if you have guys that is absolutely amazing well done if you've got all that yeah a couple of high scores there tonight 131 for Stephen John Kurt there wow amazing 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 some amazing scores there tonight guys <laughs> I'm well impressed I am super impressed there this evening guys that is absolutely fantastic uh, bear with me one second door yeah that is um, that is absolutely brilliant there this evening guys um, fantastic woohoo <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought he'd won there this evening, guys, as well. Yeah, um, gammon egg and chips looks like they've uh, they've taken it again. Then, if you guys have got the 135, that is absolutely brilliant there this evening. Um, I hope you have all enjoyed yourselves tonight. There tonight, guys, it's been my absolute pleasure as always to uh, to do that for you this evening. Um, I, I love coming along and doing this for you on a, on a uh, Tuesday and Thursday evening. I'll do another one again for you same time next week. It is much appreciated that you've uh, you've taken time out of your day to come and have a little play along uh, with the quiz this evening. Um, I, as I say, I absolutely love doing this for you guys. It's it's keeping me um, in the loop of uh, of what's going on with everybody. Um, get, gives you something to do on a, on a, a regular ongoing basis as well so um, I do appreciate you coming along uh, thank you once again for taking part um, I'm gonna do it all again for you on Tuesday evening um, I've dropped a little note into the comments box as well if you want to if you, you don't have to guys but if you if you're in a position where you can uh, and you want to like leave a little tip for me entertaining you for this evening um, that would be a, a brilliant as well uh, that'd be much appreciated. It's uh, it's all well, um, all well goes to a very good cause at the minute. My, my cause of uh, of keeping myself uh, above <laughs> above the float of water and all that good stuff. So I, I do appreciate. It. If you can drop anything, that is absolutely amazing. If not, that's not a problem as well. Um, I do uh, thank you so so much for for playing this evening. Uh, I am going to stop waffling now <laughs> and uh, and leave you for tonight. Thank you once again, guys. Uh, I will be back on Tuesday doing it all over again for you then. Uh, we will see you then. Take care of yourselves. Keep yourselves ever so safe. Uh, keep doing everything that you're doing so far. All the social distancing stuff seems to be working, seems to be doing what it needs to be doing. Uh, and then hopefully we can get back out into the real world sooner rather than later. Mwah. Big hug to you all guys. Thank you so so much. I will see you Tuesday night. Good night guys.